Okay, the goal of this exercise is to get each of these tracks. You can see we have six tracks in the audio of Final Cut. To get each of those onto its own track in Pro Tools. We can assume that each of these audio tracks is its own microphone. They're still uh, set up in stereo pairs, but that's not going to matter. We start by going up to the Sequence menu, clicking on Settings, and then clicking on the Audio Outputs tab. Okay, this lets us select how many audio outputs. We have six microphones that we want to uh, get into Pro Tools, so we select six there. We click uh, Dual Mono on each of those six, and then click OK. Now, we have to assign each of these tracks to its own output. Output 1 and 2 are already automatically assigned. To uh, assign the others, right click anywhere on that uh, track. I like to right click over the lock icon. And I'm just assigning 1, 2, 3, this will be 5. This last one will be 6. I'm going to go over that again and make sure I do it. So I'm right clicking audio output 1, audio output 2, right click, audio output 3. Oops, right click, audio output four. So I have each of these microphones assigned. Now I'm going to export all of these. First I have to set my in and my out points. I'll click I on the keyboard to set my in point there, then drag the playhead on the ruler to the right. Click O to set the out point. And I should be set up now for export. So the only thing is to uh, go up to the file menu, come down to the export command, and then we're going to click export audio to AIFF. Okay, there's the dialog. Now it's very important to know where you're saving your output. I'm gonna click on the Pro Drive. That's where I'm gonna save this thing. And then the other important thing to remember on this dialog is make sure that you're saving as channel grouped. That'll make sure you get six different files in this case. You're going to switch to Pro Tools. I'm going to go up to the File menu in Pro Tools. I already have a session started. I'm going to uh, go to the Import and Import Audio. Okay, I'm going to click on my Pro Drive. That's where I saved those files. And you'll see that loop browser 1 through 6 have shown up. I'm going to hold down Shift to select all 1 through 6. And then click on uh, Convert. When I click on Done, it comes up with the dialog that asks me where I want to save it. You can see that I have this uh, FCP export example folder already. And it's uh, already to go saving into the audio files of that folder. So I choose that. And now it's uh, asking me if I want to create a new track or just put it in the region list. I do and I want to start it at the session start. So there are all six of those tracks now in Pro Tools ready to work with. Now I may want my video in Pro Tools also. So I go back to Final Cut. As long as I export from the same point in Final Cut, the video should still match up with the audio that I've exported. So I export using QuickTime Conversion in the File menu. I don't need the sound, and uh, I have noticed that uh, H.264 is a format that Pro Tools does like, so I'll go ahead and do that. I will call this uh, Loop Browser Video. and save it onto the Pro Drive right next to all my audio. It takes just a few seconds to export this. And uh, when we get back into Pro Tools, we should be able to go to File, Import, Video. Go to the Pro Drive, and if I scroll down, Loop Browser Video should be there. I'm going to select that. And when
when I click open, it should ask me for, you know, where do I want to start it from? And do I want to import audio from the file? Since I already have the audio, I definitely don't need to. I'm going to start it at the session start. Click OK. And there you go. Basically, your entire Final Cut session is now in a Pro Tools session format.